Good morning, year, year 10. I need to call you year 11. <laughs> morning, year 10. How's it going? We're here. Yeah, we're in. Toby's here too. Kieran's here. Hi, Isabel. Good to see you. Hey, Sean Lee. Hey, Andy. Hey, Wen. Hey, Ruby. We've got Moses as well. Yeah, we're doing well. So I've got, I've got Shan Lee, I've got Kieran, I've got Yura, I've got Toby. Toby is here apparently. Is that right? Toby is here too. Yeah, I've got Toby. Have we got Ben? I haven't got Ben yet. Uh, I've got Tong? No Tong yet. But I've got Andy. Yep. Got Victoria? We've got Victoria? Yeah, there's Victoria. Hola. Isabel's here, Ruby's here, Moses is here. Doing well. Anna, is Anna here? Yay, hi Anna. Hi. Who else? Tong's in. Yo, Tong. Tong, where's your brother? Where's Ben? Huh? Huh? Punk. <laughs> not you. You're not the punk. He's the punk. Toby says his account isn't working. Eh? <laughs> Where, where's Ben? No? 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 I don't know. But how could his account not be working? I don't get it. I am, um, have I got Ashley? Oh, hi, Ashley. Ashley, I can't wait. When we go back to school, we're going to do some really cool things. We'll have to buy some bismuth and we'll make some really cool bismuth stuff. It'd be amazing. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. That'd be good. I will, I will go and call him. Yay. Thank you. I'm still missing Nick. I'm missing Nick. And I'm missing Harris. Has anyone seen Harris this morning? No, no. Uh, guys, what do you think of my mole? It's one mole not in solution. Eh? How amazing is my mole? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh, okay, right. Let's crack on, shall we, folks? We've got an important lesson today. We are reacting moles. I have no idea what that drawing would even look like. I'll have a think about it. Um, I might do some fighting moles. Ah, ah. Uh, I've got cabin fever. I'm going crazy. Ignore, ignore everything that just happened. Ben's in. Yo, Ben. Right, I've got people still uh, handing in their homework, which is great. I've got nine people who've handed in. I've got 11 people who haven't. Moles fighting. Yeah, I might have to do that. That 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 may end up that may end up being what I have to draw. I, I'm not entirely sure how I'd even go about doing that. Uh, but I'll have a think. I'll have a think. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. So I've got Ben now. Whoop, whoop. Have I got Nick? Has anyone seen Nick? Okay, account working now. Yay, good job. Good afternoon, Toby. <laughs> Has anyone seen Nick? Where's Nick? Where's Harris? Sheesh. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the register open in case they decide to rock up. Okay, so let's crack on, folks. I'm quite excited today. So I'm gonna share my screen as normal. Let's get this going. Boom. Share screen, want that one? Hide, amazing. So today's lesson, I've put the learning objectives on the description for the YouTube video. I just think it's really useful having them there. Um, happy April Fools all, oh yeah! It's April Fool, totally forgot about that. Man, I should have done, I should have dressed up as a mole. That would have been amazing. Um, okay, right, so, Oh, sorry, is Nick. Oh, nice to see you, Nick. Thanks for coming. Oh, Mark, you was in. There you are, Nick. Has anyone seen Harris? Let me know if you see him. Cool, we're in. We're in, we're in. Right, so today's title is Reacting Mass Calculations. That's today's title. This whole year has been a joke, though. Oh, you, uh, you don't mean like... Like like my lessons, do you, Ruby? Because that would be that that would be really mean. Oh, it hasn't been that much of a joke. Oh, I've tried my best. Oh, it really upset me. 
<laughs> so I'll get on with my lesson. How is this having Wi-Fi problems? Oh, okay. All right. Let me know when he gets here. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I've still not had everyone. No, we love Ken. Oh, good. Thanks, Toby. Thanks for that. Makes me feel better. Ruby didn't say it though. Oh, no, she did. No, your lessons are great. Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks. You try. You try. Um, is, is, it's all because of my mole, mole, mole pictures though, right? It's definitely what it's about. Um, so just check in. Uh, there we go. How many people? I'm just going to do a refresh. So I've got nine people. Um, I think not, uh, nine people have submitted their homework. So what I'm going to do, um, those other 11 people, if you can try and get those done for me, guys, that would be great. But I'm going to go through them now anyway. Oh, now I've got 10 people. Good job. Yeah. Ruth's just, oh, somebody else has it. It's reorganized it. Um, right. We're going to go through them now, folks. Yeah, your mole drawings are so cute. Oh, thanks, Ashley. Thanks. Uh, I do have to say, though, Shan, the reason why the original chemistry mold does have sun sunglasses is because of you. So it is all about you. Thanks, Sam. Right. So we're going to go straight on to uh, going through your homework. So all answers to three sig fig. That's something just to bear in mind. Yeah. One is available on your all these. What? I don't get it. Are all these lives available on your channel? Lives? Lives? Huh? Anyway, right, let's move on. So, oxygen. So, it says calculate the volume, right? So, we know the equation we're using is number of moles is V over 24. Yeah. And that's going to spit out us in dm cubed. Right. So, we've got given moles. We've got given moles. Yeah. We've always got 24. Live streams. Yeah, well, all my lessons are live streams. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're all yeah, they're all available. Yeah, yeah, you can watch any of them anytime you like. You can always watch them back. Just go to my channel and they're all there. Um right, so we need to reorganize this. Multiply both sides by 24, and we get rid of that 24 from that side. So I just need to times them all. So this is gonna be four multiplied by oxygen. Right. Oh no, hang on a minute. Four is the moles. And times by 24. This is easy. Don't even need the MR of these gases because all gases, all gases occupy 24 liters at room temperature and pressure. So four multiplied by 24. So the answer is 96.0 dm cubed. I'm no doubt that there might be a couple of students who forget to give it to three sig fig. Just bear in mind. Next, same equation. So number of moles times by 24 will give me volume. So this time I've got 24, uh, 0.2, so 0 0.250 multiplied by 24. So 0 0.250, got to watch my calculator because it does have a sticky decimal place button. 6.00. Your calculator, of course, is, is going to be given six and everyone's going to give you six. Just make sure you're, as I said, reminding yourself that it needs to be to three sig fig. Next, oh, right, guys. So both of those questions, both of these questions are running kind of like a love, a level love five. It's kind of what this is, love five, love four, five, something like that. Um, although probably actually slightly lower, maybe four, because no, it's a five because you had to rearrange. Yeah, uh, but it would have been a four if it had just been straight moles is V over 24. Now this one is much harder. This now jumps up to a level eight. The reason being is you've got to use two equations because we've been given grams. So number of moles is grams over rams. Right. What's the rams of argon? I think it's 40. Um, hang on. Let's check. Need to check that one. Uh, argon. Yeah, there it is. Argon's 40. I like it. So we've got 15 grams over the relative atomic mass of argon, which will give me. 15 mol divided by 40, that's going to give me moles, 0 0.375 moles. Now I've got moles, I can now work out the volume. So number of moles times by 24 will give me V. So times that number by 24, and I get 9.00 dm cubed ticket if you've got it, folks. Whoop, whoop. Next, 
Same thing again, but this time it's this one's even harder again. Love eight, love eight stroke nine, because they're making you do two things. And this time, rather than just a single atomic mass, it's going to be a molecular mass. So number of moles is grams over rams. And then I go grams is going to be 0 0.220 over what's carbon? Carbon is 12. Oxygen is 16, but there's two of them, which means it has a relative molecular mass of 44. So I'm going to divide that. By the way, at A level, it'd be 44.0. Just so you know, it's nice for me to give that A level transition. Right, that's going to give me 5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. And then we're going to multiply that by 24 to give us our volume. And I'm going to get 0.12. And then you have to add the zero. Your calculator is going to make it disappear. But you have to add that. Mr. Duncan, why do you need to write them to 3 sig thing? Because it says in the question. Oh, <laughs> that's why, Shan. And do you know what? Uh, that's a read, right. So chemistry, the general rule is three significant figures. It's the general rule of this. But the question, because the question actually says it, you know, we, we just have to be consistent about it. That's all. Yeah. But otherwise, I mean, if you've got it, okay, if you've just not rounded the three sig figure, give yourself a half, Shan. Yeah. And I think that's totally reasonable because really, I don't really care about the three sig fig thing. As long as you've done the mathematics here, correct? That's great chemistry. That's all it means. Yeah, that's all I want. So if you've got it, if you've not done it to three sig fig, you can give yourself a half. I'm happy with that. Right. Next. Right. This time we're asking to find moles. Ah, oh, yeah. Original equation. V over 24. Now, uh, look, they've given us a volume in decimeter cubed. That means we are in 24. Yay, that's easy. So we just put the number straight in. 48 over 24 is going to give me 2.00. Moles. Mole, mole, mole. By the way, mole, that's Spanish for moles. Yep, yep. <laughs> Sham, did you just tell me to shut up? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I, I know that you were actually telling the other Toby, but it was really funny because it does sound like you're saying it to me. <laughs> it's really funny. Next, <clears throat> we're still in DM cubed. So number of moles is V over 24, which is going to give me 1.20 divided by 24. It's going to spit me out in moles. I meant that the other one. I know, I know. It made me giggle. Proper giggle. Loved it. That's going to give me 0 0.0500 moles. Next. Ah, uh, look what they've done now. They've been cheeky. They've been cheeky. They've given me it in centimeters. Uh, don't be so rude to Mr. Duncan. <laughs> so this time, its number of moles is V over 24,000. Yeah. So then I'm going to have 360 over 24,000 because I'm in centimeters cubed this time. My calculator's becoming really sticky. It's really annoying. One, five, zero, moles. Guacamoles. That's uh, Guacamoles is, of course, uh, that's Mexican. Um, <laughs> face palms, face. N nice, nice. Next. So, okay, this one much harder, much, much harder, because now, again, it jumps level. Uh, wash your calculator. I've got a feeling that would probably not go down very well, Toby. I feel like if I, I just shoved it under the tap, I feel like it would, uh, it, it might break my calculator. Uh, guacamole sounds horrifying. <laughs> yes, it does. Thanks, Rue. Right, so this one, we've got to use two equations. So we've got to use number of moles is V over 24, and we are using 24 because it's in DM. Yeah, so that follows through. So we run that one. 7.20 over 24 is going to give me moles. 7.2 divided by 24 is going to give me 0 0.300 moles, Christmas moles. And now we need to get it, but it wants mass. Number of moles is grams over rams. This is much harder. Reorganize. Multiply both sides by rams. Moves it over to the other side. So let's now just scratch out that. Gives us grams. So I need to multiply 0 0.3 by the MR. What does ammonia weigh? 
Well, I find nitrogen on the periodic table, and of course its mass is 14. Hydrogen, mass one, but it's times by three. So the total is 17. At A level, 17.0. So multiply that by 17, and I get times by 17, and I get 5.10 grams. Tick it if you got it, folks. Tick it if you've got it. Next. Oh, they're making us switch our gas equation. Number of moles is V over 24,000 because I'm in centimeters cubed. So I changed to that one. Next. Right, now that I've got input my data, 480 divided by 24,000 is going to give me moles. 480 divided by 24,000 gives me 0 0.0200 moles. And then, and I'll need to do grams over rams again, but then multiply it by the ram. How much does nitrogen weigh? Well, nitrogen on the periodic table is 7 and 14. So the mass number is 14, but it's in a pair. That is a very common mistake for the diatomics. Do watch out. At A level, it'd be 28.0. So multiply that by 28. And I get just, uh, guys, tick it if you got it right, please. 0 0.560 grams. Winner. Next. Same thing again. Centimeters cubed. Yeah, it's always spot it. Changes our gas equation. Number of moles is V over 24,000. Yeah, so I've got 100 centimeters cubed over 24,000, which is going to give me 100 divided by 24,000 gives me 4.17 times 10 to the minus 3 moles, right? Multiply that by the MR. What's oxygen? Oxygen on the periodic table is number 8 and 16. That's its mass number, but it's in a pair. So I've got to double it. Oxygen gas weighs 32. It's one to know that, folks. At A level, 32.0. So I'm going to do 32. So I'm going to multiply that now by 32. Now, by the way, I haven't taken that number off my calculator. That number there, in reality, is 4.16666666 recurring. Yeah, times 10 to the minus 3. I know that. But what I'm just going to do is I've, just, I've, I've rounded it to three sig fig for that bit, but I've kept the number on my calculator. Yeah, so I don't get a rounding error that's followed over. Multiplied by 32, and I get 0 0.133 grams. There we go, guys. So it's out of 10. If you guys can just type on the chat for me, please, how many out of 10 you got, and I will then upload your scores onto the Google Classroom. Just put it into the chat, because then I can go back and check it anytime. That would be fabulous. Right. Oh, today's lesson. So exciting. So today's lesson, I'll do that. There we go. Today's lesson is reacting mass calcs. Reacting mass calculations. Sorry about that, folks. Sorry, sorry. It's a calculation song. 9.5, 9, 10. Well done, guys. Keep going. Give me those scores. That's great. Thank you so much, guys. Smashed it. Well done. Really, really proud of you guys. Great job. Well done, Andy. That's a great score. Ruby, good job. I bet it was just the, the, the three sig fig that trapped a few of you guys, so don't worry. But well done. Really proud of you. Great job. Right. I'll upload those scores onto the, um, onto the sheet after the lesson. I'll just scroll back through. That's great. Thanks, guys. Really, 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 really grateful for you guys doing it. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me, you guys doing all this for me. I know it's hard with me not being around and all that jazz, but I really, really do appreciate it. Right, so learning objective number one. I need you guys to know the steps. Now, steps in reacting mass calcs. I shouldn't put RMC because it looks like RMM. Uh, reacting mass Reacting mass calcs. I'm just going to put calcs. Number two, understand the mole ratio, ratio, and be able to deal with it, and then be able to answer exam questions. Able to exam questions. I like it. Cool. Right. So, now, this question, just to let you know, this is all love seven to nine. Yeah? This is a tough lesson, this, folks. And I do, I do understand that it's hard. 
and I just want I just want to reassure you guys that you know you, I don't I don't need you guys to worry so much if you don't get it straight off the bat it's all right it it takes a bit of time this you know it's it, chemistry is a tough all of you are great chemists and you will all do great I promise you yeah and you'll all get this eventually it just takes a bit of time sometimes because this is all high level stuff okay now i teach this lesson in a rather unusual fashion i teach this lesson um with a question because in order for me to do the steps you need to see how those steps tie into the exams so so the question says uh mr duncan mr duncan wants to make wants to make uh let's do how many grams do you want me to make somebody give me a big number of grams any any grams doesn't matter who's the first one up up there give me a big random set of grams how much do you want me to make 1000 thanks toby 1270 grams of right somebody give me a compound that they like toby won that round Someone give me a compound they'd like me to build. Who's going to be first on it this time? Oh, it's a trickier question, isn't it? Because a random grams number is, is re ammonium. Ammonium? Ben, that's not complete. Remember, ammonium is an ion. You need to do ammonia. Ammonia would be, if you did ammonium, maybe ammonium chloride or... Uh, ammonium bromide or ammonium oxide, like it's an ionic salt. Yeah, ammonia is better. Uh, but since you got it wrong, I'm going to give it to Ro. We're going to make some titanium dioxide. So 1,270 grams of titanium, titanium two oxide, otherwise known as TiO2. Uh, are there any artists in the room? Uh, if you, if there are any artists in the room, you guys all know this compound really well. This compound is commonly known as titanium white. This is what all white paints are made from. Yeah. Uh, they just take the titanium dioxide powder, which is pure white. It's a very, very white compound. And they mix it with your glues and your oils in order to make it into a paint. It's kind of cool, isn't it? So you use it all the time. You see, I, I know, just, I, I just know random things about random compounds. It's silly that. Um, but I, I discovered that, you know, when I was actually really young, when I, when I first started painting. Um, and you guys probably know that I paint. Uh, yes, I need more white paint. Yeah, we can make some. I'm going to make some now, Shan. Uh, but you probably guys know that I paint. And um, I discovered that on the tube, it says titanium white. And I didn't know what it was. And so I looked it up. And uh, found out it was TiO2. That's why I actually know that one. Um, so, okay. Now, the question now is I need to make this guy. So, the question is, what do I need to go and buy to make it? I'm going to need to buy. We actually need to do that. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, yes, uh, we actually, no, no way. Please, we actually need to do that in class. What, make paint? <laughs> That's less entertaining than most of the chemistry. That's really funny. We can. We can make paint. We can make all kinds of cool colors. Um, yeah, can, can. That's funny. Um, so what do I need to go to the shop and buy? I'm going to need to go and buy, number one, some titanium metal. Yeah. So I'm going to go and buy myself a piece of titanium metal. A silver, shiny metal. Got to love it. Titanium, by the way, is a wonderful metal. A wonderful metal. It's one of our best. By the way, the reason this this metal is used in jet engines, it's got an incredibly high melting point. It's very very tough. It's resilient to what's called creep, which means if you if you stretch, it's very doesn't like to be stretched. Doesn't it's not very ductile, um, and it's also incredibly corrosion resistant. That's why it's pretty much the only metal that can survive inside a jet engine. All the rest don't really don't really ma manage it very well. The temperatures. Uh, the stresses, you know, they don't last very long. And then what I'm going to need to buy is I'm going to need to go and buy some oxygen gas. And obviously the oxygen gas is going to come in a balloon. There we go. So here's my titanium solid. And here's my oxygen gas. I like it. So I'm going to take these two 
and I'm going to heat them. And when I heat them, I'm going to get a big explosion. I'm going to get a big explosion. Yeah, I'm going to get a big explosion. And what's going to be created is white titanium oxide. There we go. And by the way, it wouldn't actually be a big explosion. It would just burn if you got it hot enough. Yeah, it would just... Uh, it's actually very difficult to, to burn titanium because it's so resilient to corrosion, but it, that's what would happen. So we're going to form titanium dioxide. Okay, so, and by the way, it's a white powder. Let's draw that out. What would that look like? It would look like a white powder. Yeah, there's there's my, my white crystalline powder. Yeah, it'd look white. And it would look really white. It's tending to, to make that, to color that in gray, uh, but it but it wouldn't be. It would be, as I said, beautifully white. It's cool, that. Um, we are very easily impressed. <laughs> Making paint equal is is bigger than watching paint dry. I love that. That it's so true. So true. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So now the thing is, so I've had a mass given to me. So I'm going to rewrite that equation because I love my diagram. I don't want to make it disappear. So I'm going to take titanium, I'm going to add it to oxygen gas, and I'm going to make TiO2. And I'm going to make 1,200 and what? 70 grams of it. Okay. So the big question is I need to go to the shop and I don't know how much of this and this to buy. So how much titanium and how much oxygen do I need to buy in order to make the 1,270 grams of titanium dioxide that, who were the two people that chose it? I had, Toby was on the mass and Ru Ming was on the, um, was, was on the, the compound. So in order to make their compound, how much of this, I need grams of this and I need grams of this. So how do we do this? This is called a reacting mass question. So steps. Step number one, step number one is get to moles. You see, chemists don't work in grams. Yeah, we do not work in grams. We work in moles because moles allows me to count particles. So how many moles did they want me to make? Number of moles is grams over rams. Right, let's put our grams in, 1,270. And now here's the tricky bit. What's the relative formula mass? Oh, no, it would be molecular because it's covalent. It's actually giant covalent. Uh, so I need to look up titanium. Oh, 48 plus 16 times 2. I don't know what the, uh, by the way, let me check. Uh, titanium, 48. Yes. Woo. 48, baby. I don't usually know titanium. That was, that was, that was a rough guess. Right, so I'm going to lose the mark, though. Guys, that's not okay. I need to give the answer. So 48, turn my calculator on, 48 plus brackets, 16 times 2. Gives me 80. There's my mark in the exam. Yeah. So I'm now going to do 1,270. 1,270 divided by 80 gives me 15 point nine moles to three sig fig, but I'm going to keep it on my calculator. 15.875 is the real number. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it on my calculator. Right, now that I've got moles of that, I can now write that onto my equation. So I can now go back up to here and I can go, oh wait, hang on. In fact, you know I'm gonna rewrite it. It's good for me to do so. Ti plus O2 goes to TiO2. I've got 1,270 grams, and that now converted to moles is going to give me 15.9 moles. So I've now done my first step. Get to moles with the person that you are gi you're given information about. Yeah, right, what's step number two? Step two, is use, use the mole ratio. Now I'm going to put that in a heart because this is one of my learning objectives. Yeah, 
Now, the mole ratio, people often ask, what is the mole ratio? The mole ratio is why we, looks like something else. I'm just going to change that to a better R. Yeah. Uh, the mole ratio is why we balance an equation. And in this case, the equation is already balanced. There is an invisible one, invisible one, and invisible one. The mole ratio, which I will now put here, I'm going to put it off to one side. The mole ratio, I'm doing this in a different pen color, mole ratio is one to one to one. So the equation, this is, my, this is the point of understanding this. So use the mole ratio. Here's another question underneath that. What is a mole ratio? So answer, the numbers used to balance, the numbers used in balancing, in balancing. Next question, because people are going to go, I don't, I don't get it. What does that mean? Yeah. Um, question. Oh, hang on. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Right. What does it mean? What is it saying? What is it saying? Answer. The ratio, the, the numbers, the numbers say, sorry, the numbers say, the numbers say, dot, 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 that one, one titanium, one mole of titanium reacts, reacts with, reacts with one mole of oxygen, one mole of oxygen to make, to make one mole of TiO2, one mole of titanium. That's literally what you, they, there's another question when they get, when you get to A level folks, and the great thing is you guys are going to have a great time at A level because you guys are going to understand all this because I've done so much of it with you. And it's not even that I'm doing A level with you. I'm just doing GCSE properly. Yeah. And <clears throat> people often get asked, why do we balance equations? And people and, and students will say, ah, oh, because maths is conserved. No, we do not, but that's common sense. We balance equations for that ratio. Let's look at another example of this. E.g., let's make ammonia. Yeah, let's make ammonia. Let's make ammonia. Right, let's balance the equation. Two nitrogens, two nitrogens. Six hydrogens, six hydrogens. And I'm done, and there's an invisible one there. So what is my ratio? What is my mole my mole ratio, one mole of nitrogen will react, ah, will react with three moles of hydrogen to produce, to make two moles of ammonia. This is so, so important, so important. Kieran says, didn't we already do this in the first mole lessons when we found out, found the masses needed in each of makes glucose? Yes, no, not really, Kieran. By the way, I can see where you might have got that from. Can I just say, I am so impressed, Kieran, that you remember that. Like, well done. Um, not quite. The reason being is you're talking about percentage composition. Yeah, and the problem is that the percentage composition is working on atoms rather than moles. Uh, and you need to be a little bit careful with it. Um, I'll come back to that later. Um, so what does this say? Step two says, use the mole ratio. Right. Well, who do we have? We have this guy. Well, would everyone here agree that if, and this is the big thing, and I'm sorry, guys, so students often get lost at this bit. 
if I had one, if that number here was one, then I would have needed one of that and one of that. That's what the equation says. To make one, I'd need one, one and one. Yes? To make one, I need one. To make one, I need one. Yeah? I'm already lost. Uh, I know. It'll get, I promise you, this will make more sense when we do another question. I promise, Toby. Right. We need to make 15.9 moles. How many moles of this guy do I now need to go and buy? Well, if I needed one, I would have bought one. Those num The mole ratio says that these numbers are the same. If they're the same, then so is my other number. I need 15. I need 15.9 moles of it. How much titanium am I going to need? Would it not be half and half? No, no, Isabel, it's not. It's not. It doesn't work like that. Ashley, well done. It's 15.9. I'm going to come, Isabel, I'm going to come back to your question momentarily. I won't forget it. Just bear with me. I promise. Just bear with me. Yeah, I understand why you've said it. Just bear with me. Right. I'm. How much titanium am I also going to need? Well, it's the same number there as it is here. So I need 15.9 moles of that. Right. I have just used the mole ratio. I have just used those numbers. They're done with. Yeah. Right. Step three. Now that we've got moles of everybody. Step three. I promise this will make sense. I swear to God it will. Step three. Get out of moles so we've just worked out the number of moles i've needed because the ratio says they're all the same right well now that i've got moles i don't want moles i want grams that was what the question said so now i need to get from moles to grams i need to reorganize my equation folks number of moles is grams over rams i need Grams, reorganize, multiply both sides by rams, gives me grams, right. I need to take this and multiply it by the weight of titanium. Right, Toby, I totally get what you've done. Moles don't add up, Toby. Yes, that is, what you, what you just write is written is correct. But the equal sign is not correct. Remember, there's no equals in chemistry. It's an arrow. It's saying 15.5, 15.9 moles, 15.9 moles of titanium reacts with 15.9 moles of oxygen, and it will create 15.9 moles of titanium dioxide. They're joining together, Toby. Imagine what you've just said is this. Look, imagine this. Par ah, part how particle A, particle B. How many particles of A do I have? One particle, one mole. How many particles of B do I have? One particle. Well, they're going to join together to give me one particle of A and B. Yeah? One mole. Yeah? They're joining together. It's not the same thing. Does that make sense? Oh, so they join together. Yes, that's correct. They're joining together in this case. So, okay, guys. So how much did titanium weigh? I don't need those anymore times by the rams, right? Titanium weighed 48. So let's multiply that by 48. So 15.9, 15.9 multiplied by 48 gives me 763.2 grams. Let's just do 763 to keep it three sig fig. Right, let's put that in a box. There's my final answer for titanium. Yeah, Toby, okay, I kind of get it. Oxygen. I've, what does oxygen weigh? Oxygen? You should learn this one, folks. It's so handy to know it. Yeah, it weighs 32 because oxygen on the periodic table is 16, but it's in a pair. So I'm going to multiply it by 32. So 15.9 times 32. And I get 500, 508 grams. 507. 
507 grams. Guys, what do these two add up to? What do they add up to, folks? Oh, exactly. Isn't it magic? It adds up to one that mind blown. I know, right? It works out really nice if you use, I know it does, Rue. I know, I know. It works out super nice. Toby, what? That's a, damn, I love it. Thanks, Ruby, that was great. Whoa, it's really cool. I don't know what MGL is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh my, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I love that, Isabel, kinda, kinda. Yeah, not yeah, yeah, not gonna lie. It works out to whole numbers if TI and it are for TI and O2. Oh, I can imagine it does, but we did this already. I know, Tong, I get it, but I didn't remember. The actual number was that one. I needed to use that. That's what Rue was saying. If you want me to do it properly, I can. I can, I can, I can. I just, you don't need to. I just wanted to, I like how we're all so easily impressed. Ashley, this is magic. What are you talking about? Right. Guys, are you ready? I think there's a lot of people going, I think I kind of know what this is about now. Let's do question two together. Question number two, we're going to make ammonia. Let's take nitrogen and hydrogen, and we're going to make ammonia. Now, just so you know, ammonia is actually reversible. Uh, I'm doing that arrow there means reversible. I don't need to worry about that yet. That's for next year. Yeah, chemists plus maths equals magic. N no, chemists equal magic. Don't be throwing in, don't be throwing in any of those mathematicians into this. Yish. Jeez. Thanks, Rue. God. Balance my equation. Three, two, and a one. Right, there's my mole ratio, folks. Question. I am given, I am given 500 grams of nitrogen. I am given, oops, I am given 500 grams of nitrogen. How much, how much hydrogen and ammonia are needed and produced? That's it. I wouldn't say how much, what mass? What mass of hydrogen and ammonia? Hydrogen is needed. What mass of hydrogen is needed and what mass of ammonia is made? Right, let's walk through the steps. Okay, step number one, get to, so I'm gonna do the whole thing on the equation. I'm gonna do it all in this space. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Ignore the reversible, I'm just doing it because I can't not do it. Yeah, that's all. No, I've just flipped those numbers around. Sorry, there we go. Okay, so. Step one, get to moles. Step one, find moles. Okay, so who have I been told about? 500 grams of nitrogen, that's this guy. 500 grams, right. Get to moles, grams over rams. Number of moles is grams over rams. How much does nitrogen weigh? On the periodic table, it's 14, but it's in a pair. It weighs 28. So number of moles is 500 over 28. I'm gonna do this all decimal places just to show you guys how amazing this is. Okay, maybe not, it's a stupid number. 17.8571 moles. I'm tempted to go the whole way, you know, just to show you that it really does add up. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna leave it there, moles. Right. Step two, remember I'm doing all of this in this space. Step two, use the ratio. So what's the mole ratio? The mole ratio is one to three to two. How do I get from one to three? 
times it by three. Times that number. By the way, I've kept that number, that crazy number. I'm doing it properly. Stuff it. No, I'm going to do it. Four, two, eight, six. I'm doing the whole number. It's my fault. I should have picked a better number. But I just want to show you guys that, you know, this is awesome. There we go. Moles. Right. I'm going to multiply that by three times three. And I get, I get, I'll just put it underneath it, 53 point, I mean, that will dot disappear there. I'm going to put that in a box. That's the moles of that guy. I'm going to put this in a box. It just means I can separate them because their numbers are so stupid. 53.57. One, four, two, eight, five, seven. Let's put that in a box. Next, how do I now get from one to two times by two? Use the ratio, right? So I'm gonna go back to that original number. I'm gonna go back to this, 17.8571 multiplied by two. And I get 30, 35.71428572. Put it in a box just so I know what it is. Moles. So I've just worked out the moles of what I need. In, in your exam, you just do this a three sig fig, by the way. <laughs> Makes everything a whole lot easier. Right. Step three. Get out. Step three. Get out of moles. Get out of moles. Right. How do I now get to mass? Ah, I need to reorganize that equation. Number of moles, you need to times both sides by rams. Times by rams gives me grams. How much does hydrogen weigh? Well, hydrogen on the periodic table weighs one, but it's in a pair, so it weighs two. So I'm going to multiply. I'm going to multiply this number here by two. Yeah. So two times 53.57142857. And I get 100, 107.1 grams. Just gonna leave it at that. Right, that's what that gives me. Right, guys, how much ammonium am I gonna get it? So I need to multiply this by how much ammonia weighs. How much did ammonia weigh again? Nitrogen was 14. Hydrogen is one, but there are three of them. Total weight is 17. Multiply this by 17, and what do I get? 35.71428572 times, times 17. And I get 600 and 7.1 grams. And what does that side add up to? Mass is always conserved, folks. Isn't that magic? <laughs> you, I, I, I hope you guys are all realizing, you know, this is level seven, level eight stuff. You know, this is hard. I get it. Whoa. I know, right, Ben? Isn't it magic? I know. I'm such a nerd. But it, oh, oh, I'm so glad you get it, Ruby. It's that, like, penny drop moment. Love that. So that's one of the reasons why I went into teaching. It's because when I see kids have that moment in chemistry where they're like, oh, my God. That's amazing. I get it. Like, it's just awesome. It gives me goosebumps. Right. Guys, are you ready for one more? We've got five minutes left. Are you ready to do your own? Are you ready? Oh, question number three. This one, I'm going to ask you to pause the video, have a go, and then see if you get it right. Right. Let's do. Let's do methane plus oxygen, I'm going to say complete combustion, CO2 and H2O. Let's balance the equation. 
one one carbon, one carbon, four hydrogens, two hydrogens. Right, big two. Next. H hydrogens four, hydrogens four, oxygens two, two and two, that's four. I've got four on that side. I need to balance it. Add a two here. Right, there's my mole ratio, folks. Right, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you 100 grams. No, let's make it easier. Um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you, uh, do you want easy, medium, or hard? Uh, I'm going to give you 80 grams of that. How much oxygen, how much CO2, and how much water? Off you go, folks. That's it. Fill in the answers. Pause the video. Pause the video now and have a go at the question. Step one. Get, find moles. Right, I've got, I've got 80 grams. Number of moles. Grams over rams. 80, number of moles is 80 over, what's the MR of methane? Carbon is 12, hydrogen is 1, it weighs 16, divided by 16. 80 divided by 16 gives me exactly 5 moles. Step 2, use the ratio. Step 2, use ratio. What is the ratio? The ratio is 1 to two, to one, to two. Right, how do I get from here to here? Times by two, I'm gonna have 10 moles. How do I get from here to here? It's the same number, five moles. How do I get from here to here? Double it, times two, 10 moles. Right, now just step three, get them out of moles. Yeah, step three. Get out of moles. Get to mass. Number of moles is grams over rams. I need grams. Reorganize. Number of moles times rams gives me grams. How much does oxygen weigh? We see this so often. We've already used the two. The two has nothing to do with it. Already used the two here. Yet yeah, the two was used there. How much does oxygen weigh? It weighs 32. We know this. So I'm going to need... 300 and so I'm going to have 320 grams of oxygen. Oh, this is exciting, guys. That adds up to 400. Oh, this is going to be really interesting. So, carbon dioxide, how much does CO2 weigh? Carbon is 12, oxygen is 16 times 2. It weighs 44. Times that by 44. 44 times 5 gives me 200 and 20 grams of CO2. Oh, we can make a guess. We can make a guess. It just needs, it's gonna be 180. Come on. What does water weigh? Water, hydrogen is one times two plus oxygen, which is 16, ah, which is 16. Water weighs 18. And I get exactly 180 grams. And that brings us Dead to the end of our lesson. How cool is that? Smashed it. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. That was a fun lesson. I really, really enjoyed that lesson, folks. Ah, Hey, guys, I'm back. That was, that was awesome. Thank you all so much for being here. I know, I know it's a, that's a really tough lesson that one you know it, it it just requires a little bit of a leap of faith and but when when it works it works i'm really really happy to have seen you guys thanks so much for finishing off doing the homework my right, guys you know what i'm going to put on the classroom right now i'm putting on your first reacting mass homework right the very last question is super hard it's a challenge question i'm teaching it to you separately but i'm just letting you know yeah don't worry about the last one uh I can give you a hint, count particles, it's moles, uh, but um, not homework. Yeah, it is homework, homework for tomorrow, Toby. 
There's only 10 questions. I'm going to post it right now. Yeah, it just means you'll solidify what I've done with you, Toby. I promise it's good for you. I promise. I promise, I promise. It's worth it. I promise it is. It's due tomorrow. Yeah, because I'm going to go through it tomorrow with you guys. Oh, Tong, don't be sad. Oh, don't do that to me. Oh, it's not that many. Please. Please. Right, guys, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. See you later, guys.